Good evening, over. guys, and welcome to this week's vlog. Oh, sorry, I've got mad men on quite loud on my iPad. Um, obviously, it's the evening. I'm so sorry I'm not vlogged today. I'm just literally going to check in and then stop vlogging as well because I've just got so much work to do. It's like 20 to 9. I've got the biggest spot of my life on my face. I'm just, I've had a bath. I'm just about to get into bed and work for another couple of hours. Um, so yeah, it's been one of those days. It's just been pretty intense and pretty stressed out. So um, I'm gonna start probably vlogging tomorrow. I'm very sorry. I just wanted to check in a little bit and also share the giant spot because who doesn't who doesn't like to share a giant spot whenever they've got one? Good morning, guys. Good morning. A vlogging zone today. It's about half eleven. I'm just on my way out to the doctor's pick up a prescription of a pill. Then I'm gonna go develop my film while I go to the gym for an hour and see Luke. Um, it's so cold today, I don't know what's going on with the weather, but it's like freezing all of a sudden, and even though it's quite bright. Um, so yeah, that's not good. Then I've got to go down to London this evening, um, because I've got a really exciting shoot tomorrow. Um, really exciting actually. I'm going to be in Stylist Magazine with Collect Plus. We're doing a piece about um, packing for the weekend away, and what to pack and things like that. So um, I've got to go down tonight because it's quite an early morning shoot, it starts at 9 rather than get on a 6am train from here. Going down to London tonight and then um, staying in for two nights actually, I've got to stay Wednesday night as well because I'm on a panel with Shop Style on Thursday morning so I've got like a crazy exciting couple of days actually. I'm really 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 excited about it now I think about it. Oh I look rough, got my giant vintage blazer on, just kind of getting used to the sleeves. Um, absolutely chucking it down, just about to set off at the station, what fun, it is like properly belting it down. And I remember, oh well, as I remember now, put them somewhere, somewhere safe. So I'm just gonna go and get the train, get a sandwich on the way, and off to London we go. Just arrived in London at my hotel, staying in the Radisson. This is literally the smallest hotel room I've ever, ever been in. Like the bathroom is tiny. I mean, it's fine, like I'm just here for two nights, but it's amazing how much they fit into a room. Um, how weird is that? They've te the hotel has technically welcomed me here. Very creepy. Um, oh god, comfy bed though. So yeah, I don't know whether to order room service or just there's like a restaurant downstairs. I just go and eat downstairs on my own. Never had a meal on my own before, but I don't really care about it. I don't mind the idea. I can't decide if I can be bothered. I always like having room service, but this room is so small. I don't want it to stink of food, you know. If it's in here, if I'm eating, it's like gonna fester. So I think I might just go downstairs and get something to eat other and a drink. Just changed my mind and ordered room service after all of that. I've ordered a steak. I'm sure, I'm sure it will be nice, I hope. I'm gonna see if there's any films on and get on with some work. So we have arrived at the location. I've just put a cutaway in here, it's amazing. So exciting and I get to get my hair and makeup done now, which is my favourite thing to like people touching my face. So that's next.
a wrap. I absolutely love my makeup, how I have my makeup done and my hair. Now I'm off for a meeting, see so Urban Outfitters and then Gap to make my way back towards the circus. But that was so much fun. Whenever I just want that, I just leave buzzing because it was so good. And the photos came out amazing and I love the outfit. So I can't wait to share it with you all. I'm going to do a blog post and obviously it's going to be in print too. I don't know why. So I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, meetings now. Good morning, guys. Apologies if you're not vlogging the rest of the day. Um, I just had a couple of meetings. Went to Sketch for the first time ever, actually. Which is that, you'll have seen it on Instagram. It's got like a pink room and the egg toilets. It's very nice. Went there and then met up with Laura for some lunch. Also met up with Catherine for a drink. So it was a very, very busy day. And I, for some reason, just stopped vlogging around lunchtime. Um, but I'll make sure to keep vlogging today. So I've got this panel this morning with Shop Style about bloggers and how bloggers work so there's going to be brands there i think it's mostly going to be brands there and we're just going to be sort of showing them how they could build bloggers into their marketing strategies basically going forward and stuff like that so i'm quite nervous because it's a lot of questions that and yeah i've decided i always for stuff like this it's always better i think to not prepare too much because it's questions about me and what my opinions on things are i can't get the answers wrong so if I spend too long deciding what I want to say, then I'll get really flustered if I forget something that I thought of previously. So I haven't prepared very much. I'm just going to look over the questions on the tube. I'm going to set off now. Um, and then on the train back home, and I think I'm going to go and watch Harry play in Sheffield tonight. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I, th I think that I'm going to go. Um, so that's today. I will make sure to vlog through the entirety of the day. But I hope you enjoyed seeing all the shoot stuff yesterday. I know we've got lots of footage of that, so I'm pleased about that. Um, and two years from the time, from the time when I graduated, and it's a personal style blog I've blog almost every day um, about what I'm wearing, clothes I'm wearing, and the thing. Um, split between high street and high end, where to invest and where to save. I also have a YouTube channel which I've been doing for about two years, which is a big change in public health and development for me as well. Um, in terms of my audience, very similar to yours actually, probably about 90% of the and again between 80 to 35, the majority just being in the 25 to 35 age range. Um, not so much on YouTube, but from that it's in the demographic generally. Are you all doing this full time? Your mm -hmm. so rather than just showing out what you can do um, But generally, I would expect for everything to sit in a similar sense and feel like a piece of community so that nothing is standing out as what you should only do actually. Yeah. I mean, does, it, does it vary between whether you're doing something for a no, it's funny. I completely agree with Lizzie in terms of what she's saying about nothing stands out. I think it's so important. Uh, but I think as bloggers and, and how it sort of also turned into a business was that you constantly feature stuff. So if you're even in your non-sponsored content, you're advertising. So it's it's like it's it's finding a way that works for you where you are. Good evening, guys. Oh makeup's all over my face. Just got back in, it's like one o'clock in the morning, so I'm obviously going straight to bed. Got a lot of work to do tomorrow. Um, but yeah, the gig was good. Obviously just got back from London. After that panel, pretty much did some emails for an hour and then went straight to the gig. And we just got back in now. Tomorrow I'm at the gym at 10. Um, loads of work to get through before a mostly chilled weekend. People come around Saturday night. But other than that, it's quite relaxed, which is lovely. So, I shall see you in the morning. Hi guys, just got back from the gym and had a shower and washed my hair, hence it being so fluffy. It's gone humongous. Um, I'm just working today, working at home, tying some stuff off before the weekend, editing videos, going through emails, writing some posts for next week, next week. relatively, touch wood, on top of things at the moment, which is very very good. I go away next week so I'm going to New York which is very exciting so we're going to be going abroad together all of us um, with Hush, the clothing brand. So we're going to be there next week from Tuesday to Thursday so we just want to make sure that I'm on you know as on top of everything as I can be. Might start thinking about outfits today actually in case there's anything I want to order. Um, but yeah that's it. I need to nip out later to return something from Zara. I'm doing the Testing Basics Espadrilles so I've got two pairs which I ordered online um, but I want to go, I might try and do Zara for the lowest one. Um, I'm not the, the biggest Zara fan which is why they don't feature that heavily on in Testing Basics but I know it would be quite informative especially for the shoes because they do do good shoes. So I think I'm going to do them for the cheapest this time round so I just want to go and look at them in store because I find the sizing quite strange for Zara too. 
So I'm going to do that later. Um, and that's about it. I'll check in later. A bit of a boring day, I'm sorry. Just on my way out now. Zara to return and pick up something. MS to return something. And Mark Spencer to get some food. Me with Harry. That's the plan. All the people in the pub are watching it. Sometimes it's like, I don't want to be rude, but it's a certain type of man that just can't get his head around to seeing a girl with oh. a camera. It's just too much. Not a lot of them work on building sites as well, don't they? Whee! 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 Going home, having some dinner. Barely eating today, and then we're having a chill night. I need night. to trim my hair tomorrow. Okay, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll we'll vlog it. We'll vlog it, we'll do that. Hello everybody. In the bathroom, we're joined with a special guest. We're going to do a face mask together. So I had a potential job through with Glam Glow. I've never actually tried the mask before, so I bought this in boots today, as you saw. So I thought I'd better try it before I work with the mops. But I've not heard lots of people talk about them. people like Nicole Guerrero. Oh, like, <laughs> is it Jeremy that she's? Her boyfriend's called Jeremy, yeah. He's, you know, like him. Um, so we're gonna, oh, where's the stuff? We're gonna try it out. Oh, and Harry likes face masks too, don't you? Yeah. We got the Thirsty Mud one. Loads of people rave about them, but I think they go quite tight on your face, just to warn you. It's not the ones you peel off, is it? That people are like. No, 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 no. it's not a peel off one. Okay. The instructions should be on the back, actually. Oh, it smells like. It smells like coconut. It smells good, it smells doesn't like it? Eat it, doesn't it? Yeah. Just a thin How much? One. Just a thin layer. Oh it, oh. It literally feels like custard. Doesn't it? Don't eat it. Did you just eat some? Did you just eat some? Did you just eat some? It doesn't taste nice. It doesn't? Mm -mm. Well, you're not meant to eat it. It smells <laughs> Stop, oh, I thought you were eating it again. No, because some um, lip balms you can actually eat. The lush ones, but can you eat some of them actually? They do lip scrubs that are edible, but they don't. They're not, like, you know. No, you shouldn't be like scooping them out the pot, but it's like you scrub it on your lips and then you can just lick it off your lips. That's the idea. This feels nice, doesn't it? Uh, Custard was a good call. It's like ambrosia, if anyone of you is familiar with ambrosia. I wonder if it is going to go hard. I don't I feel it like does. it is. I hope it does because I like it when your face goes all tense. Yeah. I'm excited. You feel like Han Solo. We're gonna glow tomorrow. Feels cool. Okay, let's go downstairs. We're watching Nerve. It's gone on Netflix. Let's see how we get on with this. Will you put the door back on the door stop, please? Ooh, I feel nice. <laughs> We've got custard face. Custard <laughs> on your face. Custard on your face. Cat face. Does anybody remember cat face? Is it if um cat face got, got the face of no oh you got the big cat face at the party of the cat and the face of a cat flies through the air yeah cat, cat, cat face cat face cat face that's what I was looking for my tumbler tumbler yeah so let's see how we got on with this the thing that the um potential thing we're working on is really really exciting it's like I don't know how much I can say actually but it's like a Manchester based thing so. Um, I hope that, I hope it all works out. My skin's feeling lovely. It's getting into bed with my soft skin. Feels really, really good. Excuse that teddy bear up there. Good morning, guys. Just got back from Asda. Did a big shop ready for people coming around later on. So I'm about to unpack it all. It's all here. Um, also, I wanted to show you, I ordered two bottles of this hair stuff. When I was on the, did I mention this? I think I might have mentioned it, that when I was on the shoot earlier this week with Stylist, the makeup artist, I always love getting my hair and makeup done because I ask I like a thousand and one questions. Like, what's your favourite foundation? What's your favourite mascara? What's your favourite this? What's your favourite that? And she used this stuff on my hair. So it's called the Fudge 
big hair think big texture spray and it's like a texturizing hairspray and it made my hair look amazing and then my hair drops so easily with whatever you do and the best bit about it was that I went it went to bed with it down so I didn't tie it up like I normally do and the next day it still looked good so I ordered two bottles of this pronto and highly recommend it but I need to load the dishwasher and get the shopping sorted bought lots of flowers as always Oh, 
hearts But before we tend our wounds Let the moment last night didn't we you had a good night last night yeah it's really good i fell over though well they'll look you've just seen the band, the, oh, you'll be sofa. able to watch yeah. the so fast session youtube and then we, everyone came back here we had a few drinks but then i ate like load of pizza and load of clotted cream and then went out and felt so sick and just thought if i had another drink i would just chunder so then i came back home was in bed for like half 12 um i also my knee went last night oh my god i'm gonna show you later it's so swollen and so sore i absolutely decked it and it's killing me now i will show you it later on i can't roll these jeans up so just slowly need some work today planning outfits for a trip <sighs> um planning outfits for a trip next week just editing a video oh that's quite heavy on my tummy but thanks it's really nice and trying to get my head into gear a little bit. I'm really hungry and I'm really craving something from Yard and Coop, but I look great. Right. We've been so unhealthy this week. It's the, 20, it's, it's the 21st century, I yo. regret it, though. I should just oh, have some roasted my vegetables. face that close up. It's not close. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> my face always looks pink on the tongue. Look how bad my hand is as well. I'm an abs I've just woken up an absolute wreck today in the wars. Good evening guys, it's like 10 past 8 and I'm actually about to go to bed. I'm so tired and I've got lots to do tomorrow so the sooner I go to sleep the earlier I wake up without being extra tired. And also, this is like a proper baby thing but when I'm going away on Tuesday my flight's at 6am so I'm going to have to get up at like half 2, 3. And I'm like preparing myself now and trying to get sleep, some sleep in ahead of time. Well let me show you my bruised knees actually while we're here. Okay guys, these are my bruised knees. It's so so swollen here. This is I think I think this is the knee that went, but I think I must have landed on this one. But they're both so so sore. So I've been whinging all day. Um and just feeling extra sorry for myself and extra sensitive because they're killing me, which is just so annoying. I hate my knees. Um it's the first time it's done in ages and like all the gym stuff has been helping them loads to be stronger. So I'm like disappointed that that's happened really. Um, but yeah, what can you do? Could have been worse. And I'm just gonna get ready for bed now. Hope you've enjoyed this weekly vlog. I've actually mostly edited it already. I've been doing that today and I really like it. I don't think it's gonna be a super long one, but I really liked it, like good music in it. And obviously it's been a really good week with the stylist shoot and then the gig last night and stuff. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this one as well and I will see you in the next one.